If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it and it's free. Looking for PTGO codes? Photon Store has all the latest sets and promos instantly delivered to your email. You can use Tailman code when checking out for 5% off. Card Market is Europe's largest online marketplace for Pokemon cards. Whether you're looking for sealed products or singles, vintage or the latest sets, just follow the link in the description to find what you need. This video is sponsored by the Pokemon TCG deck building website PokemonCard.io. Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video here at Tablebun. Thanks so much for tuning in. We're going to be taking a look at some of the newer um, cool cards coming out from the Silver Tempest um, set coming out in just over a month and pre-releases are starting very soon like in a couple of weeks I believe so lo the Lost Origin format definitely a little short lived but I do believe that Silver Tempest will simply enhance the format and will create more um, fun interesting decks such as the one that we're going to be talking about today now these lists are taken from Japanese tournament results so um, that is why you see like in my personal uh, preference to start off like I wouldn't be playing the hiding energy I'd be playing an extra copy of the capture probably wouldn't be playing the evil doll to start off just trying to get the deck to feel um, decent and consistent but of course we are these decks have already started winning tournaments in Japan so let's take a look so this is Lugia Vistar one of the most talked about cards in the new set featuring the ability assemble star where you can use this ability during your turn and you put up to two colorless pokemon except pokemon with a rule box from your discard ball onto your bench now that ability um is really good right just getting two pokemon back into play especially when you combine lugia with Archeops, yeah, they're made for each other. Archeops has the primal turbo ability where once during your turn you may search your deck for up to two special energy cards and attach them to one of your Pokemon and then you shuffle your deck. So really, really powerful ability. Um, energy acceleration has always been a dominant strategy in the game and it's no surprise that um, Lugia can now take advantage of this by getting two Archeops into play with your ability. You can immediately power up or energy from your deck to that very same Lugia V-Star you just um, utilized in order to start attacking. And that is why we have the wide array of special energy right here. We have powerful energies, which obviously increase the damage output that um, Lugia V-Star does. And you can even, you can even power up um, Arcus itself. Um, we also have Aurora energies to cover for the Evil Tell's attack cost. You can even use Freedom Greninja to snipe bench Pokemon, and you could potentially attack with Crobat or Luminion, though that's not necessarily <laughs> going to be super crucial, but you could, right? Um, three double turbos help with making it so that you don't go out of your way in pairing up something, and if you only get one Archives in play, you can get two double turbo energies um, into play, and attack that way or if you want to spread your energies you go like two energies on one Lugia two energies on the other from each Archeops and then the other energy can be a double turbo energy because Lugia V-Star's attack does cost four colorless energy so pretty cheap and not pretty cheap pretty easy to um pay off with that ability powering yourself up does 220 damage you may discard any stadium card in play and obviously with the powerful energies you bolster that damage to, to 40 to 60 to 80 even all the way up to 300 if you really need it. And we also have choice build in order to get to 330 damage, which coincidentally one Hikeos during VMAX and one Hikeos Mu VMAX past the Oricorio damage reduction. So a lot of really cool uh, possibilities. Like I said, we have Evil Tull with its attack where you just one Hikeo whatever is in front, like it just gets KO'd immediately. So that's how you can get past something like Geralt and VMAX where like people see this and see only special energies and a lot of players first reaction is oh but you lose to draw on vmax it's number one draw on vmax is not a very popular card so wouldn't you go into a tournament knowing that out of the four players there's one draw on vmax your chance of 
going up against it are so low, right? So you don't need to worry about it. Just because you lose to a card doesn't mean you have to immediately attack for it, right? Because how popular is that card? If you have a, another loss to Palkia, right? Or Giratina, then you absolutely need to reconsider. But if it's such a fringe card, meh, yeah, not so much. But it does give you open options for that. And it's just a really uh, powerful card potentially to just KO anything with a single prize attacker. And the rest of the Pokemon, like I said, are support. Ranger Ninja does draw cards with uh, its ability, can attack as well, thanks to their Aurora energies. And Oranguru also means any energies we do draw that we need to attach with um, Arceus from the deck. We can use Primate Wisdom, put the energy back into our deck as our top deck, and then use our ability to power up that very same energy. Crobat and Luminion do find us extra cards. And of course, we have a wide array of supporters and um, item cards to help us in setting up, but the most important one uh, to highlight, yeah, right up here, is Serena. Yeah, Serena is a supporter which gives you an option. You either discard up to three cards from your hand, and you must discard at least one card to play this, and then you draw cards until you have five cards in hand. So Serena cannot be the last card in your hand, or you switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon B with her active Pokemon. So it's not a better card than boss because sometimes you need to KO a non B Pokemon, right? In order to win the game. But most of the time, uh, it will be as good as boss. And it also gives you that consistency option as well, which is really nice. And of course, when your damage output is so high, what you're trying to do is trade two for two or two for three against your opponent's other wool box or V Pokemon, right? Um, so pretty cool, pretty cool card, not gonna lie. Um, it would be amazing if it said benched rule box Pokemon instead of Pokemon V, because of course, once Scarlet and Violet come out, we will no longer have Pokemon V and we will have Pokemon EXs. So Serena will, um, like, it makes sense that they released it so late in the history of Sword and Shield because it's a very powerful card, but it will only get weaker as we get new sets and as we get power creep uh, of the EX Pokemon above V Maxes and v-star pokemon that will happen naturally um, with the new sets from scarlet and violet pardon my crazy hair it's been impossible today and so outside of that we have research we have bosses orders we have marnie we have roxanne and we have leon to increase our damage output then we also have four quick ball and four ultra wall and three evolution instants of course not only do we need the archives in our hand uh or rather, in order to get Archives into play, we need to get into our hand and then discard it because Lugia V-Star's ability gets it from the discard pile onto your bench, not from your deck. So that is why we need to get, we need to find those um, Archives, we need to discard them, which is why we maximize on the Quick Balls and the Ultra Balls and the Evolution Incense, of course, um, help with that. And they get us every other Pokemon, right? Those All, all that Pokemon search for all the Pokemon that we need in order to execute our strategy is fantastic. Plus Vacuum helps getting rid of a potential Path to Peak, which I will say this deck, as it stands, is very weak to Path to Peak. We are seeing a decrease in Path to Peak usage overall, but I do think that having only one out to, lost, uh, to Path to Peak in Lost Vacuum that is unsearchable as well is not very good. Yeah, I would rather see a copy of Pump Kabu and or a couple of stadiums as well in order to help combat against that because if you're not using Lugia V-Star's ability you are not getting Archives into play and therefore your deck simply doesn't work. Well I mean it does in the sense that you can manually power up Lugia V-Star but <laughs> at best it will take two turns by attaching two double turbo energies and that will only happen once but if you take um if you can't find back-to-back -back double turbos, they will take three turns. And in those three turns, your opponent has already um, taken you down with Giratina's attacks, Lugia's, I mean, Palkia's attacks, Turm's attacks, etc., because they have the energy acceleration, right? So that's one, um, one big uh, but in this list that I do not like. Then we have Switch, we have Escape Rope, we have Verbalunt to make sure that our Archips, um, which have retreat so they will not be <laughs> getting stuck, I mean, Doranguru, um, or Evil Tal will not get stuck in the active or anything else really. And then we have the wide array of energies, one of which is a brand new as well, which is the V-Guard Energy. Now, the 
the Pokemon this card is attached to takes 30 less damage from your opponent's Pokemon these attacks. So not only do you get to do extra damage through powerful energy, you also get to reduce damage with the guard energy onto your Lugia to hopefully prevent a KO. So pretty cool deck. Should be pretty fun to use. I look forward to playing with the cards um, in a few in a few weeks once they come out on PCGO. And um, yeah, I'll definitely be playing something different than this list, but did want to feature this uh, Japanese tournament winning list, which I found peculiar because it's it has everything that I would want it to, but it's also lacking a like it's very obviously weak to Path to a Peak, and that is something that I don't think you can afford. Not when um, even though Path to Peak is decreasing in popularity, it's always out there, right? And like just one copy of Path to a Peak against this deck would be very problematic, and that is not something you want to have. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think about Lugia V Star. Let me know if you'd uh, what other deck you'd like me to feature from the upcoming Silver Tempest set, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.